Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to those of you who are new watching this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some summer to fall outfit inspiration. I actually have been seeing a lot of brands releasing their pre-fall lookbooks. One of the main brands that I drew inspiration from though was from Love Jack Nancy. So I'm going to leave their pre-fall lookbook link down below. It's on their website. They have so many beautiful looks and I'm going to be recreating a lot of them just using what I have in my closet at the moment. And hopefully this will just inspire you for some transitional outfits as we get into the fall season. In. It's a little bit early, but we can start getting some inspiration. I'm also going to leave everything linked down below in my description box so that you can get your hands on anything that you see that I share throughout the video. So be sure to check that out. Before I get any further though, I wanted to introduce our newest family member. This is Chloe. We just got her, which is why we were gone last Friday. My husband and I were picking her up and just getting her settled into our home. She is such a sweet puppy. She's a golden retriever, English cream golden retriever. And I'm actually going to leave um, the Instagram down below where we got her from. And she is just the sweetest thing. I cannot wait for you guys to just see her throughout the videos and stuff. But yeah, she's part of the family now. Definitely part of the YouTube family too because she's going to be popping in. Oh my goodness. I think she wants to get down. Can you say hello? She is such a sweet girl. She loves being held. She's already made us so happy. She is such a sweet girl. I think somebody's tired. Do you want to go take a nap? You go take a nap. Go take a nap. She loves going behind my dresses back here. Chloe. What are you doing? But if this is your first time here to my channel and you're interested in seeing more from me and seeing more of Chloe, I do have a new video up here on my channel every Friday. Everything that I create is about romantic fashion, styling videos, unboxings, reviews. So don't forget to click that notification bell as well because that will just remind you when my video is going to be up on Friday. But it's also going to let you know if I have an extra video up throughout the week as well. So for this first outfit, I ended up using this picture. I feel like it really did a good job of making this outfit still wearable as we transition from summer to fall. The thing that makes it really stand out is that blazer. I do think that blazers are a really great transitional piece. But the dress that I used to create my look is a dress that I've had in my closet for a couple years. This is from Macy's. And what I think it is that does make it look like a fall dress is the colors. Even though it's in a dress that's definitely wearable more so in the summer, pairing it with the blazer, um, I paired with this blazer from ASOS. It's just a very nice structured, soft, pink peach color. The two just work really well together and I actually had never worn this outfit combination before until I saw this picture from Love Jack Fancy. But I did also include a belt because I do feel like in the fall you have lots of layering going on but this is still a wearable way to do that as we're still kind of experiencing some warmer weather. Um, this belt I actually got from TJ Maxx. Really cheap but it looks like a nice expensive belts and I really like the color because it matches the shoes that I chose with this outfit. These are from Free People and they just work for a fall outfit. They have that brown autumn feel to it and then also just very wearable. I feel like these you can get away with year round but it does look really nice with the fall outfit.
second look, I used this picture as outfit inspiration. And I've been seeing a lot of these all black outfits with accessories that have a little bit of an accent color. So I actually ended up using this dress. This is a midi dress from Shopbop. I purchased it just a couple weeks ago. I bought it because I am wanting to get an all black look, but I wanted ruffled detailing. So I saw this dress. It has like the ruffled collar and it's in a nice loose style. So it's still very comfortable, nice and light, but it does have the long sleeve. So it's something that I can definitely bring into the fall season. So I used this dress to start the look off, but then I also did use a brown belt to complement the look. I used that brown belt from TJ Maxx once again. It's a really nice piece that I feel like is going to get a lot of wear this fall season. I also included the hat because I liked how she used it in this picture and I just felt like it was a fun look. I really like how hers kind of looks like a top hat. So I didn't want to go all black for this outfit. Since I did use the brown belt, I wanted to kind of correlate with that color. So I ended up going for a neutral pair of shoes. These are a pair of sustainable shoes from a brand called Bevea. I'm not going to try and say this. Um, I'm going to say it wrong. But this is in their style Aurora. They actually have a couple different color options of this same shoe. I love these shoes. They are so comfortable. They have like a really soft padding in them and they also have like that stretchiness. They have like that stretchy fabric, which actually some of their styles like this one this style in their pink this pink pair you can actually wash them in the wash machine it has like that fabric it's very breathable has a little bit of stretch to it so it's going to adjust to your shape the style of it reminds me of like a ballet shoe it's really pretty these two are actually my favorite that i've been testing out from this brand the pink and the style in aurora because i feel like these ones have definitely made it into my summer to fall outfits it's got a nice chunky heel to it so it's not like you've got the support that you need on your heel but it still is keeping to that dressed up look that I like. The only thing that I would recommend with these shoes is to size up either half a size or one full size if you have wider feet because they do run slightly narrow but the cream heel shoes and the pink flats are two of my favorite that I've tested out so far that I wanted to recommend. So I am going to leave these linked down below in my description box and they also did kindly provide a promo code for y'all to use if you're interested in purchasing these. It will save you a percentage off. I believe it's supposed to save you 15% off. So I will leave that link down below in my description box if you liked any of the shoes that I shared with you. outfit I just kind of came up with on my own. I didn't see any looks like this in any lookbooks or anything. I ended up thrifting this pair of overalls off of Poshmark just recently and I wanted to come up with a fall outfit using them. They are a corduroy material so that's a fall-ish material but these overalls are more of that oversized look so I felt like I could come up with a fun cottage core fall look using these. I wanted to bring in more of that fall feel to it so I used this turtleneck. This is just a classic fall color with that brown orange undertone and this outfit was pretty simple I didn't layer this one up too much because I mean you do have a lot going on with the flowers I was going to include a belt but I felt like that would be a little bit too much so I just went for the brown shoes and used that to finish off the look next outfit I did go back to the pre-fall lookbook from Love Shack Fancy and I saw this outfit and I wanted to recreate this right away or at least come up with something similar. 
So the first piece that I use in this outfit is actually a dress that I feel like is definitely more so for the summer, but I wanted to find ways that I could use it as more of a transitional outfit as well, because I don't wanna just tuck this dress away. I wanna wear it as much as I can. So this is kind of like a shabby chic dress. It's got the really pretty empire waist, that royal core look to it. Cardigans on top of dresses, I think is one of the easiest ways to transform an outfit to more of a summer to fall. And this one is in a softer color. I think it blends well into the softer color colors of this dress but I also wanted to bring in more of that layering once again so I included this belt oops and it just worked really nice with this outfit and it also brings in my waist sometimes when you layer stuff like that you can really lose your figure and I feel like this kind of balanced things out a little bit but I also love how they included those socks into the look and I definitely wanted to include it into mine now I actually think that these are the exact socks that they used these are from Free People. They have like the little flower stitched onto them. I feel like it's definitely lots of detail and kind of mix matching a little bit, but I like it. I like how it turned out and I feel like that's all that matters. As long as you like the look, that's fine. I did also want to point out that they used open-toed shoes and the sock combination. I feel like the socks makes it look more of a fall look, but this is still keeping a bit of summer in there. And I know it's a different look. It's, it's definitely not for everybody, but I like it. So this outfit, I ended up just playing with different outfit combinations. I really wanted to find some different ways to wear these wide leg pants from Levi. And these ones I actually purchased from my newly. If you haven't seen my newly, I will link that above. But I ended up pairing these jeans with this black top. This is from Anthropology. I actually went to an Anthropology in-store and they had this in clearance. I love it when you can find summer tops that you can bring into the fall. And this is one of them. It's in a summer styles it's got the short sleeves crop top but it's black and it's it's got that fall moody look to it black is such a good color to invest in because it's something that you can use year round and this top is just one of those pieces it has the bow detailing in the front it just has all those details that i look for in my tops now it just has a little bit of that regency look to it and then i finished off the look with these pointed toe heels these are from lulu's and there's actually another color option they have these in pink but i love that they have the little bows on them little bows like that just i think really complement looks and make it more of that victorian look For this outfit, I used this picture as inspiration to go off of. I really loved the softer neutral colors mixed in with those rose tones. I do feel like this brings in such a beautiful romantic fall look and that is the type of look that I love going to. The item that I use to start off the look is this sweater. It's in a, it's not quite a crop style, it's definitely more of a regular fit. It has a Victorian puff sleeve. But most importantly, it has that soft beige color. So I ended up pairing this sweater with this skirt that I ended up thrifting off a of thread up a little bit ago. This definitely is more of a summer piece. I love the high-low styles too. I think they're so romantic. In the picture, I really liked how she had the belts layered on top because I do feel like that just 
brings in depth. If anything, just investing in a belt, I think is what will really save you this fall. If you just find a belt to layer on top of that will go with any outfit combination that you come up with, I feel like you'll go so far. But I also did finish off the look with the socks and shoe combination again because I just really like it. This next outfit is 100% my style. I started this look off just with a maxi skirt. I wanted just a cream on white look. So I went for the white for the bottom part of this look, or at least for the skirt. And then I also paired it with this top. I've had this top for so many years. This is from Shein and I keep on pulling it out. Actually, the sleeves are very itchy. I'm actually gonna find something, some type of material to include into the, the sleeves of these because I wear this so much. I had never tried this cream top with this skirt before, but I wanted to make it a little bit more of that fall feel. So all I did was include the, the brown belts, the dark brown belts. I think that dark brown is what, what did it for this outfit, but I almost went for my Victorian style lace up boots, but it's still a little early to be wearing boots just yet. I wanted to keep it to like just summer shoes since we're still definitely in the in the high summer season so i just went for my heeled sandals again and i like how it looks like this is another look that i could come up with with the boots though i could see myself doing a look like that but i wanted to keep it more summer to fall that is everything that i have for this video today all the outfits that i have to share with you today i just wanted to get creative and start getting some fall inspiration out there not too much but just a little bit so we can start getting some fall ideas going but let me know how much you like these outfits give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you very soon in my next video bye